Let's simplify and prove this trigonometric identity step by step. We start with the left-hand side of the equation. Sine theta plus cosec theta squared plus cos theta plus sec theta squared minus 7. Now we expand both squared terms. Here's the tip. So the first part becomes sine squared theta plus 2 times sine theta times cosec theta plus cosec squared theta. The second part becomes cos squared theta plus 2 times cos theta times sec theta plus sec squared theta and minus 7. Now let's put everything together. Sine squared theta plus 2 times sine theta times cosec theta plus cosec squared theta plus cos squared theta plus 2 times cos theta times sec theta plus sec squared theta, then subtract 7. Let's simplify the products. Sine theta times cosec theta becomes 1, so 2 times that is 2. Similarly, cos theta times sec theta is also 1, so 2 times that is again 2. Now observe, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. So the expression becomes 1 plus 2 plus 2 minus 7 plus cosec squared theta and sec squared theta. 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5. 5 minus 7 gives us negative 2. Now add cosec squared theta plus sec squared theta. Now recall the identity. Cosec squared theta equals 1 plus cot squared theta, and sec squared theta equals 1 plus tan squared theta. So we rewrite the expression as negative 2 plus 1 plus cot squared theta plus 1 plus tan squared theta. Negative 2 plus 1 plus 1 gives 0, and we are left with cot squared theta plus tan squared theta. This is equal to the right-hand side of the equation. Identity proven successfully. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe for more math tricks and proofs.